Hi everybody, it's Rosie, and um, here is my video for with uh, sorry with Bible art journaling um, with dried uh, or pressed flowers. So um, I had did a quick little video um, just to kind of uh, introduce the concept of uh, using dried flowers, and so um, what I did. Um, a little bit each night this week was take a bunch of dry flowers that I've, I've actually had for quite some time and finally um, get them whatever preserved or whatever and what I use and I just did this off the top of my head because <laughs> I really don't know what people do um, is I used um, you know the shelf paper the sticky tack but I used um, um, the clear stuff is what I used. Uh, I guess you can also use uh, clear packing uh, tape if you want, but I didn't use that. Instead, I used um, the sticky tack or the clear shelf paper. Um, so I learned a lot as I was trying to do this. Um, and one of the things I could tell you is um, um, when you finally got them between the two layers and what I would do is I would lay a piece of paper a, a piece down of the sticky tack like this okay this isn't it this is just the cover so I would lay my flowers down and then I would lay another piece on top and sometimes I could do a pretty good job of laying it down and sometimes not so much but that's okay um I still did it and I enjoyed doing it and I enjoyed having all of these cute pieces of um, dried pressed flowers. Uh, the thing I did learn though, and I don't know if I can, if you can see, it's kind of hard with this phone, but when you, pre when you put it in between two pieces of the clear sticky tack, it forms um, like, um, Gee, I don't know what to call it, but there's like with this one here, which has more, it's not so flat because there's, it's more bulky, but it forms like a bubble around it. And what you want to do is you want to cut around that and not into it. I mean, you can still do it if you do, you just got to make sure it sticks together. So, um, but yeah, and then <laughs> quite often, not quite often, a couple of times, you see here, this one here is still not quite I try to get rid of the um, the air bubbles out of it, but as long as it's in there, I'm all right with that. So here are my dried flowers. I guess you could use pressed flowers without, I don't know how you would do it. I suppose you could do it without um, using tape, clear tape, or the sticky tack to preserve them and put them in your art journals or your Bible art journaling. I preferred not to do that. And you may not want to use um, dried flowers like this that have stems and some um, bulk to them because some people don't care for bulk in their Bible art journaling. They prefer them to be flat, so that might not be something you want to do. Um, this one is actually one of my favorites. Let me see if we can show you why. Oh, that's a little. So you can see that there's all kinds of little um, pieces here that I. I kept and when you lay it down you can really see those pieces on there so anyway um, it's just one way I tried in uh, preserving my dried flowers for Bible art journaling and um, yeah now I, I I can tell that this one here is starting to unstick in that. I think that's okay though, because once you, you put it down, then, um, and you close your Bible, it's going to eventually flatten it. Like the, the sticky tack is going to stick together. That's why it's important not to cut too close, which you can see I did here. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I can fix that though. You can always, yeah, that's just cause it's moved. You can always put another layer of sticky tack on top and trim it. It's not the end of the world. It was a learning process, but it was fun. And they're pretty and I like them. So 
you can do all kinds of things with these. You can keep it pretty simple. I Sometimes I like just to keep things, oh, here comes the train, sorry guys. Sometimes I like to keep things simple. Oh, my poor dog is having a... Yeah. Sometimes I just like it <laughs> clean and simple. So you could just, you know, put a flower there. Um, maybe one here. And I, I do have a scripture that I'm going to work with tonight. And then put your put your scripture there. And you can just keep it as simple as that. You don't have to go crazy. Or you can layer. You know, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to use... You know, you can just keep... Adding. And, you know, you may even want to... If you have some of these... And then maybe just, um, oh no, where's my, hold on, oh, here it is, you know, one in the middle on your page or something, and then you have your scripture, or you can just write a prayer around it. There's all kinds of things you can do, and when you have enough, um, dried, pressed flowers, that you it's quite a lot it's gonna it's gonna do you for a while and if you don't have any flowers to press like to be honest i don't even remember where i got these i'm trying to i have no idea i had these for about a year they've been in between books for quite some time and i finally got them out and did something with them um so yeah so um i'm trying to figure out what i want to do tonight um, oh, sorry, you can order um, pressed dried flowers online. I think you can find them on Etsy. Um, so you can find them if you don't have them. And and these, this I don't have a garden. Um, often I'll go for a walk and I'll find some wildflowers. Not in a, uh, you know, sometimes there's these blue flowers that you can find on the side of the sidewalk and they're not on anybody's lawn or anything. And so there's flowers everywhere, um, you know, not, not on a, um, I wouldn't pick them in a um, conservation area or anything like that, but, you know, just around my, my little city, there's all kinds of interesting <laughs> weeds and flowers and things like that that, that uh, you can use. So, um, yeah, so that's what I have for my dried flowers. I'm trying to think of what else. Any other cautions? Like I said, some of these are still, they're not quite sticking on the sides, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. So that's how I did it. So, but if you think of another way that you can, um, what you can use to put your dried flowers in, so you can use them for art journaling or Bible art journaling, let me know, put it in the comments. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do tonight. Um, this is actually kind of kind of pretty. And so this this scripture um, that I'm using is from Exodus 33:14. And Oh no, you know what? I'm going to have to cut that off because it's not 3314, it's 3313. <laughs> That's okay. I can just snip that right off. I printed this on my Cricut. I had it write it out for me on clear sticker paper. I don't know if it's even um, dry enough yet. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this piece off and I'm going to still keep the exodus and I might just mark in 13 myself somewhere. This is a good time now to test whether my ink is dry. So yeah, I used my Cricut to print this. Still learning how to use my Cricut. So I'm, and then I thought maybe 
I might use some distressed oxide around. I don't know, I really like um, just the clean simplicity of, the, of this type of paper. Um, I'm gonna move this so you can see what type of Bible this is. Many of you who are Bible art journalers know which Bible this is. This is the um, illustrating Bible. It's a large Bible, beautiful Bible. And I may just keep keep it fairly fairly simple like that. And you can do that. And it, to me, it's pleasing. To me, it's clean. And and yeah, like um, hmm. No. You know what, guys? I really just, I just like it like that. So yeah, this, so this is one way of doing Bible art journaling. Now, I forgot something. I'll be right back. You might be asking, well, what are you going to use to um, stick them on your paper? And um, I'm going to be using these. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll have to check. Sorry, that's the dog. These are glue dots. Let me see if I do this, if you can. Yeah, so these are glue dots. I believe I bought them in the dollar store. Sorry, the Dollar Tree. And that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to see what it's like. So we're going to, and often when I rehearse my pieces for Bible art journaling, um, I'll take a picture. I can't do that now because I'm using my phone to take my video. Um, I'll use uh, my phone and then remove the pieces and put them on in that or do what I need to do for background. But I just really like the simplicity and the cleanliness of just this. And did I even read the, <laughs> the, um, Scripture. So it's Exodus 33, 13. And Moses is having a conversation with God. And it says, if you are pleased with me, this is Moses talking to God, teach me your ways so I may know you and continue to find favor with you. And I really, it's one of my favorite verses because it's, it's, it's what faith is about is, is about getting to know God. Um, I know I have favor because Jesus died for me, but I want to know God and, and I want to please him. And because that's just what I want to do. He's my creator and he's my God and, and I love him and I, I, I want to be pleasing in his eyes. So it, it's just, and just I want to know him, you know. Um, another version says, Now if I indeed found favor in your sight, please teach me your ways and I will know you and find favor in your sight. So I just, I just love that verse, getting to know God through his word and in prayer. Um, and just embracing um, the great gifts that he gives us, like his creation and nature. And nature is really important to me. Um, nature speaks of God's glory. Yes, I know nature can be quite um, brutal sometimes. Um, but I'm talking about um, the beauty of nature, of trees and forests and rivers and lakes and mountains and... Um, um, the animals and things like that. So anyway, so uh, this is going to be fairly simple. I do want to bring it down. Let me see here. 
So uh, this, these blue dots, you just take the backing off. You don't try and take it off yourself. You just, I see here, we're gonna, now my, yeah. <laughs> so you, you put it on and then you take the backing off. You don't don't touch the glue dots themselves. Um, they it, trust me. Just don't try your best not to to touch the glue dots. I gotta see. Oop. Now put one there, and then I peel it off, and I'm going to put it in my Bible, and now it's in there. I'm going to take my sticker I'm just going to put that there and is it crooked? Probably. That's okay. I don't want to touch it right now. Um, all right. Well, I should probably shrink that. There you go. You can't even see what I'm doing. Sorry guys. I'm just showing you a very, very, very simple way to do Bible art journaling. I love these glue dots. Um, they're, whoops, they're just the best. I'm gonna take that off. So all I got to do is, so I just put the glue dot on the back, and I peel that off, don't touch it, and I lay it down, and that's going to go like that, so I'm probably going to put, I'm going to take doesn't matter which part you take off as long as you don't touch that dot. Time to get me some more of these babies. I love them. Whoop. They're pretty sticky. I'm gonna just peel that off. And I touched it. Shoot. Peel that other one off. And I'm just going to lay it like that. I might put one there. Yeah, I'm going to. all done. Pretty simple. Now let's see if I can find oh, sorry guys. So I've got a so it's 3313, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it the same. But this is the thing about Bible art journaling. Don't worry if it's not perfect. Because it doesn't matter. It's all about getting into God's word and being creative and contemplative about his word. So there, that's pretty simple. And now I have tons and tons and tons of other, um, not tons and tons, I'm kind of over-exaggerating there. But I have lots of other um, dried flowers that I can use now. And I will probably put these in a book so that the sticky tack um, gets, gets in there and there. So that's really simple and I really like it. I didn't bother using any distressed ink. I was going to use my um, antique linen. 
And the thing is, maybe I might want to later. I was going to just go around the edges, but I, I really just like this clean, clean look and these pretty dried flowers. So I hope that's helpful. This is another way of um, um, doing Bible art journaling without a huge extra cost. You don't have to use your, you don't have to have a Cricut. You can just use your own handwriting to put in. It doesn't have to be super neat or super fancy. You can use your own handwriting. I just, I have a Cricut. I decided to get one. I want, I want to learn how to use it. Um, so yeah, I hope that was helpful guys. Oh, some, some other things too. When you use this stuff, you get leftovers of lots of this, of the backing. Keep the backing. The backing is great, uh, to use to protect the other side of your Bible, you know, to protect it from any of the mediums that you might be using on the page you're working on. You can use it underneath to protect the other pages. It makes a great... Uh, paint palette for your acrylic paints and probably for watercolors too when you're mixing in that you probably want to use the other side so don't throw out these out hold on to them because they're very 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 handy uh, another thing I like using with the inks like this I like using these much better than some other blending tools um, yeah, I, I prefer I prefer to use um, this as a blending tool. And by the way, I've only used one for all kinds of different colors. When I'm done with one color, I take my baby wipe and I clean it or I go clean it, get it good and clean. Oh, there's still some ink on there, but I find it I haven't um, run into a problem of inks getting all mixed up. You just have to give it a good cleaning. Some people, and that's this is okay. Some people have one brush for every color that they have, and that's fine. I personally am not going to do that. I'm just going to give it a good cleaning. So, because I don't want to get into a huge, uh, a huge, another huge amount of, you know, uh, cost of um, when it comes to art supplies and that. So I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Bye.